Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. My name is Duamel Bentley. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my experience working with the Lancome Tint Ito Ultra Wear Care and Glow Foundation. And it's kind of shiny packaging theme throughout this video today, because I'm gonna be utilizing the Dior Backstage Flash Perfector Concealer. Now, I have tried in the past, there are several reviews in this channel here where I've tried the highlighter from Backstage, I've tried the foundation from Backstage, and I definitely see a pattern of behavior with the Backstage Concealer, but I have the tea, the information. Let's get into this video because I am excited and I am ready to dive into it. So, starting off with the Dior Concealer, I feel like Real tea, this has been such a successful product. Um, it's kind of run out everywhere. It's really tough. I've gone through several, several, excuse me, Sephora's and none of them really have had them. They're constantly letting you know, oh, um, we, we're back stocked or let's get it online. When you try to get it online, there's also out of stock for them. So this product in particular has gone really, really well for them, which is really nice. Um, but I, I've had my experience with it. It does claim to be waterproof. It claims to be sweatproof, long wearing. Um, and I mean, I put it to the test. I did go on a hike with it. I really did go into the ocean with it as well. And I don't really think that it's waterproof. Um, it does claim as well to be creaseless. And I, I had the experience where it was increasing too, too much. Really, really cute. It's very natural, really, really stunning packaging. I love the name Dior, very sleek. It just looks really, really nice. But when you open this here, you see that it has like this little brush wand. And as I was looking into the store, it seemed like because of the constant pushing in and pushing out, the wand kind of dispersed and just looks very, very um, tempered with. And for a high-end product, this is $29. It, you know, it, it's pretty comparable, but it's pretty also high-end because of the brand. Um, I don't know, I just, I would have expected maybe a little bit something different. I'm definitely gonna be a little bit more harsher on the aspect where if we're spending $29, you know, in the concealer and it delivers me the promises that it made. So, it does claim to be hydrating. I do believe that it is hydrating. I do feel like it worked really, really well with um, blending it and it built up really well as well. I just, for me personally, I'm a little bit pickier when it comes down to my formulas and I just didn't necessarily like go head over heels. Of course, I am gonna continue to try this. I have been utilizing a brush to get the most coverage out of it. I'm gonna also try it with a sponge. So, I mean, I'm still playing with it. It might be that I'm just so new to the formula because overall it does work really well. I think that the price is a little elevated, um, but packaging is really, really cute. And I really liked uh, the creaminess of it. I will note that. I will note that it did feel comfortable in the eye. It didn't really feel heavy, even though I did feel it looking a little cakey. It just, it really does feel comfortable. I don't really feel a way um, kind of hopping into the under eye. The shade that I have here is the W2. Now, typically I wanna say I'm more of a neutral. Um, I don't always shop for such yellow undertones. I don't really need them, but I will note that this looks really, really well. I did work with, um, where's the powder here? I worked with the one size translucent powder to kind of set things and to kind of do a little bit of baking. So overall, this is just a cute product. And am I running head over heels to the point of uh, selling it out? I don't know. And I really want to question myself. If you know, leave a comment down below of like, why do you think it's selling out besides the fact that it's a Dior? Is it like, did someone see something? Did someone try something? Did someone get a result that I maybe didn't? Um, I'm not sure, but am I running head over heels to sell this out? Not within my experience. Um, I did give it a good try. You know, they do have 22 shades, so there's a little bit of everything for everybody when it comes down to that in particular. If you've tried it and you love it, you've tried it and you hated it, leave a comment down below. Let me know your experience to see if it's similar to mine. And if it doesn't, 
Uh, what did you do that made it different? I am gonna continue to try this. I am gonna continue to play with different powders um, to see how that wears and the experience of it. Hopping over to the Lancome Foundation. Now, this is the Taint Idol Ultra Wear Care and Glow. I did try the Taint Idol Matte Foundation if that's even the name, a while, while back. And I really enjoyed it. So I'm very excited to get my hands into this one. Packaging is really classic, really beautiful. It's very vintage. It reminds me of just, you know, a very elegant, beautiful vintage montage. And they're like pumping it and working it on the skin. I will note this foundation is super, super comfortable. It wears so comfortably throughout the day as well. And I was pleasantly surprised because I knew that the regular one, the matte one, was going to be very glam and very on board and slashed and work it. Um, and I felt like this one gave me that same concept, but very, very naturally. Now I did wear this um, throughout my hike. I did go and kind of ran through it, went in the ocean with it. It is not waterproof like that. It is not sweat resistant like that. So definitely be aware with this. I did use two pumps in application today, and I definitely feel like my skin is holding up really, really well. Note that I have been with this makeup on maybe like seven hours now. And I mean, I can definitely start to see it kind of crumble a little bit around, you know, the pore area, uh, and definitely a little bit sinking in where I have, I call it my little, um, what do I, my little hunch, it's like well, my little baby hunch unicorn moment. Uh, <laughs> so it has held up really well. And I've only, I just powdered a little bit with my powder puff before I came on camera, just so I don't look, you know, so, so shiny. I really enjoyed this product. It does have SPF in here, which is very, very nice. It protects your skin. It's not a high grade of SPF, but anything that layers and protects it, you should always be wearing SPF to protect your skin and utilizing this on top of your skin with the SPF, which is how I did it. Just enhanced it and it worked really, really well. Um, this is definitely medium coverage, but you can build this up to a medium to full coverage which I really appreciated and enjoyed. Um, I will say that this is comfortable for all skin types. If you're a person that's really, really glowy or dewy naturally a little more on the oilier side, I would say this is a good option for you because it's very radiant but natural. It's not very like luminous to the point that you will look greasy. But I also think it's very important that you continue to practice your mattifying um, routine and of course continue blotting throughout the day. Do what you know how to take care of it. Um, but I will say this is very natural, very just weightless on the skin. It just looks really, really beautiful. Um, it just looks like your skin, but better. Fun to mention here, this formula contains hyaluronic acid, which is, is definitely something very common that we're seeing in a lot of foundations. Hyaluronic acid is just gonna plump, hydrate, kind of get the skin looking, um, you know, as juicy as it can, as hydrated as it can throughout, you know, the makeup application. It does say hydrates you up to 24 hours. And I don't really know if the cleans up the up to 24 hours are about like how long the foundation will last on your skin. Because if that's the actual claim, I can testify that it won't work like so. However, in the actual box, the ingredients uh, or application methods, it says here to apply every two hours. Now, it's very common to put these instructions within like um, any product like skincare or like uh, sunblock, that will be very, very helpful, you know, to make sure that you're getting the best results out of the product. I don't necessarily think you have to apply this every two hours. Um, maybe if you're going in with a finger, kind of retouching yourself, if you're not really powdering or anything like that, I can see it. But I will note that I really did enjoy this product. Absolutely beautiful. The match that we had grabbed was because I wanted to look a little bit more bronzier. My neck typically does get a little bit more on the bronzier side because uh, of course, if I'm driving and you know, this hand's maybe a little bit darker than this hand, luckily not too crazy. I've been trying to exfoliate my, my body to the best of the capability to make sure we're avoiding that. Give a thumbs up girl, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, by the way, let's give a shout out to how beautiful this little mustache with the dark lip is, hello. And these like, hello, hello eyes. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna lie, this is very cute and I'm very excited how this turned out. Just nice and simple, cute, with some playful color 
and um, feeling beautiful and comfortable. Now this foundation is $47. It is one fluid ounce, which is pretty typical, pretty general within foundations, which is you know, kind of comparable. I get that Lancome is more of a designer cosmetics uh, line. So I can definitely see a little bit more of the high price point, especially if it does contain, you know, flower extracts and fruit extracts in there to continue to take care of your skin to the best of the capability. That's really, really nice. And it's justified for the price. Now they do have 30 shades available of this and they're definitely flexible because of how lightweight they go on the skin. You can manipulate them to kind of alter your skin tone if you want it a little bit lighter, if you want it a little bit darker, whatever floats your boat. So with that said, you guys, leave a comment down below on either one of the products here, which one have you tried, which one have you trusted to want to try in the future? I mean, Dior, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you, I've had some lovely experiences when I go back to my old videos and I'm like, oh, I love this, I wanna play with the palette again. But <clears throat> just something doesn't allow me to fall head over heels with them. Um, leave a comment down below again if you're one of the people like me. If you are head over heels with them, leave it in the comment down below. Because I know the, what's her name? Kylie Jenner, she like blew up like this blush and everybody and their mother were like, let me get it, let me get it, let me get it. And you know, I don't know. I don't know if it's maybe because like some celebrities are using it in the brand Dior. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Leave a, leave, leave a comment down below letting me know. And definitely let me know as well about the Lancome. If you guys have tried this, if you had any experiences with Lancome products, um, just love it. I really did enjoy it. And it was really, really fun to, to put it to the test in a hike in the ocean. It was like whew, holding on, but I don't know. I don't really think that either of these products are 24 hour wear. I don't think these products are waterproof at all. And um, I, again, I put it to the test. The struggle was very real going through those hiking motions, baby. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I encourage you to come and join the Duvet Nation. Yes, we are growing. So thank you so much for all of your support. And I am excited to continue to bring some different looks. Leave a comment down below if you want to specifically see anything or any in particular order. We do have some fun videos coming up. Um, we are working very adamantly on a couple of reviews here. <sighs> go, 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 go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Bye.